And the games that we're going to be voting on tonight are Sonic's Ult... No, that's the Xbox one. This is just the Sega Genesis Classics Collection. Which, because I keep getting it confused with Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the 360 and PS3, is probably what we're going to call it. Uh, Tales of Vesperia, the Definitive Edition, and Mega Man 11. So, if I do that, check this out, watch. Look at the, look at the stupid camera. Look at this stupid fucking camera. It just zooms all the Oh, what, are we, what is this, Tales of Vesperia? Look, it's just going to keep zooming. Now you can see the printing dots. <laughs> so right now, right now, you know, we got about a minute and a half left on the poll. Uh, man, there's a, uh, there's a lot of changing in leads going. Mega Man 11 was ahead for a split second. Genesis Classics took the early lead, but Tales of Vesperia... Uh, way out in front, 13 votes. Genesis Classics only has six votes. So right now, right now, Tales of Vesperia is currently winning. Uh, 14 votes for Tales of Vesperia. Genesis Classics is still trailing behind with six. It looks like Mega Man 11. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna move this one outside of view of the camera because poor, poor Super Fighting Robots only got, only got three votes. Nobody's really interested in Guts Man's ass, I guess, because that was probably going to be what I was going to draw for that one. Uh, <laughs> we, we're down to the last about 30 seconds. It's getting to be neck and neck. Tales of Vesperia still in the lead. 29 votes. The Genesis Classics Collection 27 votes. Tales of In that time, Tales of Vesperia has jumped up to 32 votes. Now we're at 28 votes. Now we're at 29. This over here is Bernie Sanders, so he's not getting a whole lot of the majority over here. So we got, we got 33, 31, and the poll's over. The poll's over. Lock it in. November 9th. Lock the polls in. Your new president is... It's not Mega Man 11, okay? Sorry, Bernie. Maybe, maybe next time. Tales of Vesperia, 34 votes. 49% of the votes. So there, there's Tales of Vesperia. Um, I know there was, uh, Tales of Symphonia? Tales of... Tales from the Crypt? Tales of, uh, uh, DuckTales? I don't really know, I, I can't name any of the games that are in this series. I don't know who any of the characters are, so I think... <laughs> you guys are what about the Grancher? What about Dragon Tales? Yeah, that's one of the games in this in this series too. Dragon Tales. And okay, Buster Keaton Rules is getting is getting one step ahead of me. Tales Prower? Oh, okay. We could <laughs> we could recreate the how to draw manga cover. My fucking god, if you guys haven't looked up that book on Amazon, go do yourselves a favor and take a take a gander at that and see if you want to take drawing lessons from that person. My fucking god. We all went to middle school with somebody who drew manga exactly like that, unironically. Except the fucked up thing is that book didn't exist back then, so one of those people thought they were good enough to make their own book on how to draw manga. Can we do- can we do dra just make it Dragon Tales? <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better, because it's- it's Tales of Vesperia, right? We're gonna we're gonna turn we're gonna turn this in we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn this into uh Tales found a voter fraud gay for aliens. We're gonna make this a wheel of fortune puzzle. You know how they do before and after like pop corn on the cob, you know, where they, it's like two like popcorn and corn on the cob, and since corn is the common word they, they overlay them together. Uh, kind of like that trick you do where you put your fingers like this and cross your eyes and you can see that weird third thing appear like between your fingers, which I can't do that anymore because I can't see out of one eye. We're going to make this Dragon Tales of Vesperia. And I think, I think that's the way that we're going to go. So Tales of Vesperia, I know is like a, uh, is like a, uh, collect-a-thon. So, um... Uh, into, but but it's it's a collectathon in terms of like titles for your character, so there's all these different things you can do to get titles. I remember that from wasn't Tales of Vesperia was this the one that was on 360? Because there was there was one of them on 360 that a buddy of mine played nonstop, and that was like 
that was that was one of them. But uh, so okay, so how we, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? What Dragon Tales character? I mean, I'm I'm thinking Orden. I'm thinking Cassie. Because I don't feel like drawing a two-headed dragon. I also don't feel like drawing a handicapped dragon because I feel like that I I could that could just open the door to a fucking demon dimension and I'm just asking for trouble here. Uh, so okay, Orkibor confir confirms Tales of Vesperia was a 360 exclusive. Then it was ported to the PS3. Then, uh, but the PS3 version in Japan had extra content, and then they brought that over here in 2019 as uh the definitive edition of tales of Vesperia, so really this is the this is the game i thought it was this is the game i thought it was so um oh the main character of tales of Vesperia of Vesperia is named yuri why do they do why do they do stuff like that i'm gonna do a little a little bit of guideline down here we're gonna have we're gonna have titles, okay? It's gonna kind of be letterboxed, is how I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, the, you know, the Tales of Asperia goes up here, and then down here, it's gonna say like Definitive Edition. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, that's gonna be the big deal. And then in here, we're gonna have the characters. So, um, <laughs> Rocky, draw bobs, do anime milk truck, take off cloth. Send Bob's milk truck just arrived. Hang on. So let me, uh, let me. Should we start with the care? I think, you know what? Let's start with the, let's start with the care. Let's start with the characters. Hey, I'm looking up, I'm looking up, uh, reference art for, for this. You guys might, you guys aren't going to be surprised. You guys are not going to be surprised at all to hear this. Do you guys know that there's a Dragon Tales wiki? I gotta look. I gotta look. I gotta look. Only, only, only 175 pages. Only. Mind you, the Rugrats wiki had like, like a thousand or something absolutely ridiculous. Wow, Ord, Ord's, Ord's page on the Dragon Tales wiki says that his birthday is around 1980 or 1981. This motherfucker's getting up there and <laughs> getting up there in years. I thought I was old. <laughs> I can't keep up with you guys. I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> Ord, it's because you're overweight. No, it's because I'm 40. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Ord is Ord is the law is the large, strong, fast blue dragon who's scared of many things, like the dark bugs, and etc. <laughs> Cassie also has a page on the Dragon Tales wiki that we can go investigate for additional information on the subject. Uh, Cassie. Her birthday is around 1992 or 1993. So if you want to feel old, just know that she was born just before. Wait, hang on. Where's my Where's my phone? What year did Michael Jackson release Dangerous? The initial release date of Dangerous was November 26, 1991. So she basically came around uh, right after Black or White was a hit. Think about that. Cassie has a longer page than Ord, which, you know, I'm not okay with. Uh, I'm going to draw another straight line down. And this is going to be the cutoff for Cassie. So uh, I'm going to kind of draw her face here. And she has a bit of a body here. And her tail, um, you know kind of fucked up on that that's okay that's okay you know you know what bob ross always says about mistakes you do it until you do it right or he's something like that okay that's a foot that's her stomach and then her other foot is over here on this side and i just now realized i didn't give her arms so uh oh but she's gonna be she's gonna be uh casting magic so she actually needs to uh 
she needs to, like, have, like, a staff or something in, in her hand. So, uh, we'll worry about that in a second. So, she's... Yeah, that'll work, because then, you know, there'll, there'll be, like, a... That can fill in this, this open area up here. Okay, so, uh, believe it or not, this is Cassie. You just have to take my word for that one. She needs a cool cape or a hat. What can I put? I mean, she's got like yellow frills on her head, so maybe maybe a cape might work because that way I can still draw the the trademark things on her head that identify her. Or on the other hand, he's just a boring ass dragon who's just he's just blue. If he was green, he was he would die. Okay, so I'm gonna st we're gonna start out over here, uh, and he's like this, and he's he's a big boy. Okay, that's that's, that's what you gotta know about this dude. He's big boy, and he, he could he could probably be like that's why I figured he ought to be like the tank, and uh, so he's gonna we're gonna we're gonna kind of Arthur meme this one real quick, you know he's gonna have. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of draw a circle here for a fist, uh, and then he's gonna have like his sword right here, and then uh, I think what I ought to do is with his other with his other shoulder, I think he needs to have like some type of he need he needs to have some type of shield right here that he can he can protect himself with, and then uh, he also needs feet. Most characters in the show need feet. Except for the handicapped one. <laughs> I gotta fucking stop. I gotta fucking stop. I'm gonna... Someone's gonna be watching this, and they're not gonna know that I'm just fucking clowning, and I'm gonna... I'm really gonna get in trouble one of these days, and it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. So, uh... <laughs> so, Ord, you know, draw some feet for Ord. There he is. I mean, we'll we'll clean him up in a second. He has a tail that's just gonna kind of go off the page. I guess both of them have tails that are just gonna kind of gonna go off the page, even though that's the whole fucking pun of the show. But the <laughs> Ord is a blue dragonite. Draw the big one with a hamburger in his hand. He needs a he needs a sword. We need to start making some moves drawing these fucking characters because we got to we got to get to tonight's game. And tonight's game is going to be uh well, it's going to be about a shit show and a half. So she looks pretty mean. Uh <laughs> I really don't think I'm capturing the essence of these characters. I think we're drawing Kremlins instead. So this is now Tales of uh this Donkey Kong Country. Cassie's back and she's uh, acting like a bitch. So she has, she has that and then God, I remember one time a long time ago on one of my old personal channels, I had a I had a Dragon Tales review video that was kind of meant to kind of make fun of awkward people who review children's media and um what I did is I said it was a review of Dragon Tales Episode 1, and I actually had the episode downloaded, and I watched it in the entirety, in complete darkness, and uh, I sat there for 11 minutes and didn't do a single thing except for one, one moment when I actually reached and got something to drink. And uh, people actually gave me genuine feedback saying next time maybe show the episode when you do it and I'm like man I, I can't make fun of these people I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna go to super hell <laughs> I mean I already know I'm going there I already know I'm destined to go there but you know god damn it these people are so earnest about things and then like I, like I said during the extra life marathon I got a buddy of mine who's, who's been through some shit in life and like he's older than I am by several years and he doesn't like watch dragon tales but he just kind of latched onto this cartoon series because he just kind of identifies with the characters and i'm like dude whatever it fucking takes to get you through this this miserable goddamn life like 
if it's if it's Dragon Tales that that it takes like the songs and the the everything like that i'm like dude you do you he's not a creep about it so it's that's you know that's what's important all right so nessie nessie sorry cassie <laughs> i literally just looked over at ness and i apologize to her cassie has um tell you what we're gonna do uh we're actually i'm gonna i'm gonna fix this and I don't really don't know what any of the items are in uh, Tales of Vesperia, so we are going to give Cassie um, orb. We're gonna give her one of them. So we're gonna we're gonna get that ready. You guys, speaking of Dragon Tales, I don't know if y'all watch uh, Defunct Land, which is it's usually about uh, Disney Disney stuff, but every once in a while they'll have a a side series called uh, Defunct TV, and they have an episode on Dragon Tales that I guarantee will ruin your fucking day if you watch it. And it's not because it's it's not it's not bad or you know it doesn't it's not like oh the creator of Dragon Tales turned out to be a huge goddamn creep. No, it's just like you guys remember when we were talking about Scatman John in in chat a, a while back and. You know, skip like, and I was like, that, that is an act that would have worked exactly once. There could have only have been one Euro pop scat act, right? And it could not have happened to a better, nicer, more deserving person than John Larkin, Scat Man John. The guy who came up with Dragon Tales used to just paint dragons and sell his paintings at uh like renaissance festivals and he treated dragons as something not to be feared but as something that could be friends with because dragons represent both strength but also the unknown and your fears and to befriend a dragon is to conquer that fear that's why the characters little necklaces and stuff glow in the cartoon when they learn a lesson because they've conquered one of their fears in case you you were ever wondering that about dragon tales and uh so it just so happens on a whim like a pbs executive was at this renaissance festival and saw this this guy this teacher who makes these paintings of children and dragons and things like that and they were like they just struck up a conversation they were i'm gonna make this a chaos emerald they were like, wow, actually, I'm going to make this a Sonic 3D Blast Chaos Emerald. They were like, wow, this is, uh, this is really good artwork. And then, you know, this guy didn't know it, but he was talking to somebody from the children's television workshop, Sesame Street. And uh, so eventually they made a show based on his character designs, and he was involved with designing the characters and the, the lessons that were taught in each one. And, uh, you know, the guy had uh, a lot of close friends and a lot of people who were just just supporters of his art and, and who he was. And uh, he made a painting. He made a painting for one of his friends who was had a terminal illness and was dying in the hospital. And it was a painting of a, of a child holding hands with a dragon and they're their backs are facing you the viewer and they're just walking into the forest together and he showed it to his friend and among his friends last words were i'm disappearing into that painting i'm not crying you are but the dragon tales in this this man's artwork becoming like a like a show could not have happened again to a more deserving person so you know i'm not you know i'm not all well read on the lore and everything like that of of dragon tales but you know knowing that from uh knowing that from uh watching defunct tv i'm like man that's ju that's just that's just fucking that's that's really something else and now i i kind of i kind of want you know artwork like original artwork from this guy because he still makes art 
the the show's been canceled for 15 years the dude's gone back to making art that he sells at renaissance festivals and if you ask him if he's the guy who created dragon tales he's like yeah that was me <laughs> he's just so chill about it he's just like i said it couldn't have happened to a a nicer and more deserving person just like just like when we were talking about scatman john he's a good man and then of course with you know children's television workshop backing the show uh obviously you know the the, the song has some, you know the show has some real bangers of, of of tunes i think we we actually sang a couple of them when we streamed one of the dragon tales games <laughs> but we uh yeah, we did that. All right, so he's got his hand out here. Where is his thumb? If I'm holding something, my thumb is up on top. So he's okay. So his thumb, his thumb is going to be right here. And then his hand is going to be clutching around uh, a, a sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big handle on that sword. I tell you what, we'll put one of those. Uh, oh, there's a name for it on the on the the backs of a sword, the skull cracker. There's a there's a. I was like, I, I know there's a there's a specific name for this part of the weapon, but I'm feeling exceptionally uh. I'm feeling exceptionally mindless today, so I really don't know what it is. So Ord needs his. That's this is why he looks so weird. If you guys are, like, looking at my drawing of Ord and you're like, Draco, I don't like it. This is why. And he has, like, his tiny little little rinky-dink wings that, like, he totally could not fly with. <laughs> They're magic. They, really, the, the dragons fly because of magic. They don't, there's no other reason why. Cassie has wings, too, but I, I, I feel like I need to erase this tuft to be able to fit them in because I've, I've drawn I've drawn her weird I don't even know how characters in these cartoons have conflicts where they're like I don't want to go talk I don't want to hang out with the dragons I'm like motherfucker what's your problem you had a falling out your best friend's a dragon dude fucking make up okay your best friend's a dragon <laughs> if you don't want to be friends with the dragon get the hell out of there I will gladly, I will gladly take your place. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That uh, that artwork is not that bad. Just for me, kind of copying some of the existing poses uh, <laughs> from the uh, <laughs> from the show. We are gonna draw the logo coming in from the top. interesting looking like i've never actually paid much attention to the logo for the show but it's it's kind of awkward to draw you have to kind of do the spines first all right so uh then okay so then uh Watch your watch your head, Ord. Uh, so this comes down, but then like it actually kind of goes behind a couple of the spines before it joins the front right there. And then we're gonna start with the lettering, which uh, this has quite the proprietary font. Oh man, there it's they they went with the lowercase r, a serif. <laughs> lowercase r <laughs> you sons of bitches I'm not going to be able to fit tails in here I'm, I'm writing the letters too big okay we're going to we're just going to we're going to have to make the letters smaller Thankfully, 
Great Tales is only uh <laughs> I tell you what, maybe maybe it's funnier. Okay, we're we're gonna take things a slightly different direction. Actually, um, uh, let me let me erase. We're gonna we're gonna have uh the the letters not follow the same uh direction of the actual show logo. Cause instead, what we're gonna do here is oh fuck, that's like way not where that line is supposed to go. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have the text carry off of the tail. Because we have to fit a Vesperia on here somewhere. <laughs> okay, they're doing that weird thing where it looks like they've drawn a number one, but it's actually an L, so that's not confusing at all. I'm surprised we've made it this far and not a single one of y'all assholes has asked me to sing the song from the show, like the theme song. But now that I've said that, now you guys are going to ask. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Dragon Tales uh, of... And wh How do you even spell Vesperia? How, how, Tales of Vesperia. Let's do a search for that. Okay, so there's like a V, and it goes in like this. What the hell font is this? Can we go back to the Dragon Tales one? Oh man, this 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 S is so close to looking like the cool S that everybody drew, but it's not. But it's not. That's not what it is. <laughs> I need to erase this tail again. <laughs> I'm really trying to match the lettering style here, but I'm, uh, you know, since we're so time crunched, I'm kind of like, just kind of really dropping the ball here. Yeah, there's there's a little more kind of rectangularness to that. There we go. Tales, Dragon Tales of Vesperia. Oh, and we gotta write that this is the uh, definitive. We'll we'll use a colored uh, pencil for that whenever we get ready to do this. Okay, so now. Uh, <laughs> the Grancher. Imagine if someone who never saw Dragon Tales was looking for a Tales of Vesperia game and then just saw this so okay so now um i mean where do where where do we start okay so that's that's cassie's uh done i, I have like a really light this might be it warm gray 10 percent that i could use for their wings and kind of color in the wings that's not necessarily the right color but that's the color that they're gonna get so you know let's not bitch about it and now my hair is stuck in my mouth okay so uh cassie what color are her eyes her eyes are blue ord's eyes are also blue that saves us a lot of time but they're like a they're like a cerulean type of no that's purple that's that pencil's not even sharpened how i mean come on i know i've got i know i've got this color blue and i know i've already got it sharpened somewhere it's it's this this fucking blue what's it called violet blue violet you're turning violet okay so here's here's cassie colored in her eyes colored in ord's eyes now they suddenly look a lot less weird Okay, Cassie, she's holding something very important. So we need to we need to color in what she's got in her hand. <laughs> what color K I th I think we gotta give her an orange chaos emerald because I, I really don't think anything in this picture is going to be colored in uh orange. So uh do I have like a light orange I got this. What color is this? This is an old ass. It's just orange. 
PC918 orange. Okay. I mean, this didn't really come out the way I was hoping, so... Because the center part is supposed to be... Well, I can still fix it. The center part's supposed to be lighter. Hey, here's a, here's a, top, here's a trick from the, one of the top Prismacolor artists out there. First of all, if you have white, it helps to actually sharpen your white Prismacolors. If they're not sharpened, uh, instead what you basically have are uh, chopsticks. And you can't actually... Um, you, know, you, you could pick up your eraser and things, things with them. Pick up your eraser. You could pick, oop, pick up your pencil sharpener. Uh, so I know I have a white that's been sharpened in here somewhere. Here we go. We're just gonna color the center of that in with white. And now magically, it's like a shade lighter. <laughs> white world. No. Not that kind of white world, okay. So uh, magic staff needs to be colored. I figure we're just gonna go, you know, straight brown with that one. Just gonna color that one in. You know the usual. I realized I didn't actually finish drawing Cassie's hand, so uh, I'm gonna just gonna do that real quick. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we got that. Um, we need uh, like a type of cream color, which this one seems like it might be a good candidate. We need to kind of color in their stomachs, belly area, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The front, their front side. Okay, and I feel like Ord's is not drawn or finished correctly. Yeah. He was missing a line. Meanwhile, I'm over here drawing Dragon Tails, which means I've been doing lines. So we got we got those two. Uh, where's my... I got a silver. I have a silver. Is this... No, that's warm gray. I, I have something that is explicitly silver. You guys... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you guys have seen this beauty before. Look at that. Argent. We used this before on one of these. I don't know. But if Ord's got a sword, it's got to have a little shimmer to it. So we're going to color that one in with this, uh, with this gray. And then uh, get out a, a slightly darker gray. God damn it. Color in the, the skull basher on the back of his sword. And I guess presumably probably also do the it's not called a scabbard. There's a specific name for that this part of the sword that goes right before the blade. Scabbard is what you put it in. Oh, and didn't the tail isn't the Tales of Vesperia logo, isn't it? The letters are like purple or something. We need to probably do something about that. Here, I got we'll get we'll get two kinds of purple. Check this shit out. Look. Look at this. That's not sharpened. I, do, I, do I have one of those but with a point on it? Y'all really going to make me do this, huh? Okay, well, what I got here is I've got uh, Parma Violet. This is a Verithin. And I've also got uh, Process Red, which that don't look like no red. This looks like pink, which is why I chose it. Pre processed red <laughs> when you process it red becomes pink uh cassie pink what do i got in the way of pink i've got this i've got i mean it's literally just called pink so i mean this is how this is what it was meant to be cassie yep that's pink look at that you guys heard about that uh, that artist that makes those pigments, and he he's made a, a color of pink that is is so vibrant and intense that it cannot be digitally replicated. Like it, it's, you know how uh, colors and stuff like that go from you know zero to two fifty five for red, green, and blue. Well, this this is a pink that I I guess exceeds those values like. A, a computer can't register it properly. I've seen a video about it, 
but I've never I've never seen like the actual pigment. But I, it it sounds pretty cool. Oh yeah, Beryl Hale knows it. Stuart Semple's pinkest pink. Yeah, that's the one. That that be it. I'm kind of tempted to buy it because I want to see what the pinkest pink looks like. But I don't buy specialty art supplies because uh, I'm I'm broke. And you guys are saying that, and you're like Draco, you're literally coloring on printer paper with Prisma colors. That is like. That's like fucking drinking LaCroix out of, a, out of an empty juice box that you cut the top off of. And I'm like, okay, that's an insult to Prismacolors. And secondly, ain't nothing wrong with drinking anything out of an empty juice box. All right, that's Cassie. Or it is more of a light blue. So do I got like a, I got like a sky blue? Also, I don't fuck your you, you, you boy Drago. Don't fuck with no Lacroix, okay? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna drink if I'm gonna drink something that tastes like piss, I'm just gonna pay someone to piss in my mouth directly. I mean, that's that's just the way it is. It'd probably be cheaper that way too than buying a fucking six pack of Lacroix. Actually, I think they sell them only in twelve packs, so that's not helping their case any. Thing. I grabbed a different pencil too because I didn't want that to happen. All right. Well, we're just gonna be sharpening pencils forever. It's already coming up on 10:30. We haven't even gotten to tonight's game yet. And I feel like this blue is still a little too light. We still we gotta think of something to put on his shield. Because I, I haven't colored in the shield yet. I was kind of I was kind of holding off on that until we figured. Uh, I mean, what what ought to go? What ought to go on his shield? We got all sorts of stuff. It could be something tails related. It could be something you know, not tails related. Hell, I don't know. I've never played the game, so you could basically tell me something is tales related, and I would have no way I would I would have no choice but to believe you because I'm an idiot. My god, his arm really is just kind of disappearing into this 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 mess of blue. I have to redraw this. Put Ness on the shield. That's Ness is that's too hard to draw really quick. We're running low on time. And Ord looks awful, like, in terms of color, he looks bad. Because I'm breaking the cardinal sin of, uh, like, coloring, which is always keep going in the same direction. So it looks like a seven-year-old colored this side of the fucking picture. Wow, that looks bad. But, I mean, I guess on camera it looks fine, so this is really all that matters. <laughs> All right, he has purple spines, so uh, I'm just gonna bust out that uh, Parma violet again, and I'm gonna color in his spines. There we go. You can't, you can't rush art. That's why we're we've been here forever. So should we just give him the fucking master shield, the Hylian shield, whatever? is uh, going to be a missing texture. <laughs> so I need this, and I need, like, bright-ass, like... No, it was like a... I don't think I have that color. It is annoyingly vibrant. I mean, I think, I think process red might come close to uh, missing texture purple, but... Yeah, that's that's good. That's that's a good one. There we go. Okay. So there's that which means that this so if that's 
no yes no so then this is okay just had to get just had to get my bearings because the swords covering up part of the the thing so I wasn't sure which which ones would be colored and which ones would uh, would not you need to <laughs> you need to install counter-strike source to get the shield that PNG texture okay I need a, I need a little more reach on this this black colored pencil because it's not Every time I see Counter-Strike, I just think about uh, internet comment etiquette where Eric just, just team kills people in, in various games. I like it, like, I don't, I don't think I could, I don't think I could have written a show that excellent. If y'all haven't seen internet, uh, internet comment etiquette, check it out. The show is hilarious. It's written so well. I mean, I would almost say start, like, go to the beginning and start from there because there's a lot of throwbacks and stuff like that, but there you go. All right, so, Ord is holding a shield that is current, that is missing a texture, unfortunately, and, uh, but he does have a sword. Cassie, meanwhile, has a Sonic 3D Blast Chaos Emerald on a stick and is holding, um, Orb. And, uh, so, but, so this is the definitive edition, so we need to get out, like, a red. Like a, ooh, look at that. When did, did I sharpen that? Poppy red. That's a very thin. I don't, I don't got too many of those. So, definitive edition. How, how should, how, how should we stylize this text? I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking cursive, all lowercase. Mmm, definitive edition. Look at that. Def <laughs> All right, so now that we're we're close to wrapping here, we do have to put the name of the game on the side of the spine here. Uh, so this is, of course, Tales. Tales of Vesperia. definitive edition uh and then so you guys know oh fuck we didn't leave room we didn't leave room for the esrb rating shit they're gonna oh fuck howard phillips is gonna come get us uh okay so shit um we're gonna have to fit the esrb rating down down in here we didn't leave room for it we didn't leave room for it we're gonna be in real trouble we're gonna be in real trouble okay so uh this game has been rated uh, this game is rated T. Uh, for Tails. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> forgot the... Forgot. That's the most important part. That Otherwise, they can't sell this unless that's there. Okay, so... Uh, what what, ne what needs to go what needs to go on the back usually have usually the majority of the backs of these things is covered up with some type of thing you know like about from right here to right here you know these these parts of the you know these these parts of the box are all are all covered up uh, and there's 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 some type of disclaimer here where it just tells you how much space it takes up on the hard drive or uh whatever it is so uh, you know this is a uh, yes this is that one xbox 360 game so whatever you know whatever it is that they're gonna put that they print down there all that all that all that shit so we gotta have some selling points for this game we we gotta we gotta make we gotta um okay i'm thinking two points here i'm thinking two points two selling points and i think we ought to write them in that really 
that very gaudy yet attractive Parma Violet color again because I'm, I'm really starting to feel that. Okay, so uh, we need to put like a little a little diamond here because I feel like that's 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 something there. Um, let's see, based on the based on the Japan, I guess I can make that Japanese. That would make more sense. Based on the Japanese PS3 version another selling point here another selling point millions of character titles to collect And then now we need to have like this part just needs to be kind of boring. Actually, we probably ought to make it red just to just to do the right thing and kind of stand out. And we need to put uh, parenthetically here, um, Ord and Cassie DLC not included. Just to set the expectation that if, if, if you think you're going to be getting uh, Orden Cassie with your copy of uh, Dragon Tales of Vesperia, you're not. Uh, even though this is the, the, the <laughs> collectible feet picks. My fucking God. That'll, that'll be the day. That'll be, there's gonna, one of these days, that's going to be a collectible in a game. Guarantee it. So, uh, what we got here? Collect all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Put the painting quote on the back. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say dragon tails are the furries. No, uh, that's that's that's. I wouldn't say that. So okay, here here now comes now comes the best part. We get the game, and the game goes inside the case, and then of course. If I can, if I do this right. The artwork goes inside the case. And now, ladies and gentlemen, ready to add to my collection of Switch games. Tales of... Can we wait? Can we get this without a glare on it? Probably not. I don't... Is it... Just... Tales... Tales of Vesperia. Definitive edition. That worked good enough. <laughs> of course just in case you want to read the flavor text whoa millions of character titles to collect i gotta get me this i could spend i could spend literal hours playing this game my god my god so uh <laughs> the dragon tales of vesperia i tell you what that this this is deserving of going is this zoomed all the way out can i zoom out a little further with that or is it it this is deserving of going in the pantheon of games like Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, SNK, Heroines, Minecraft, the German version, and of course, Hyrule Warriors. Also, which was also the definitive edition of that, I believe. Yes. So, <laughs> so Dragon Tales of Vesperia. The latest the latest and greatest game in my collection. Uh, thank you, uh, I believe, to Tabitha Bunny for sending in uh, the actual, like, Tales of Vesperia game. You got pencil shavings that are... Actually, those appear to be stuck underneath the paper, so who... <laughs> just gives... That just adds to the value. Uh, Tabitha Bunny sent in the copy of Tales of Vesperia, so thank you very much for that. And I feel like that is the best possible cover we could have come up with for this game, so... I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, uh, this little trek through uh, Artland in this episode of uh, Gator Box of Crayons. I'm sorry these episodes carry on for so damn long, but you know you can't rush genius. You can't rush uh, can't rush art. So um, there there it is. There, there it is. There you have it. 
<laughs> hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.